Hi, my name is Sonal Sharma, and I am working as a functional consultant with BISP Solutions. In the series of Arx uh, application videos, uh, today we are starting with working with views, filters, list in ARCS. In Arx application, basically uh, in EPM, uh, Enterprise Performance Management, Oracle provides multiple, uh, you know, uh, ways, agreed flexibility towards the information that in which way the user want to see it, like what columns or what rows, in which form, which type it is, uh, you know, uh, see uh, that information. So there are three types or three views you can say. The first one is list view. List view in the tabular form, uh, one by one, you are getting that information. Second one is group view, which is in a summarized way of uh, attributed data or attribute value. And compact is, that is a, again a list or group. Uh, this is for list or group view for uh, on or off a mode of display with uh, your uh, customized way. Uh, here, the list and the group views are uh, the, uh, providing the default column in general, like whenever you are going to see the view, uh, as you can see in this picture, that whenever you are going to uh, see the view, then in that case, the list or group view is coming automatically in a default columns. Whereas if you want to customize it according to your need or your choice, you can also customize this with uh, easy changes that can be made. In the working uh, with view mode, uh, there is option that uh, through which again, uh, in the view form, you are going to see uh, the list or a group view. But if you want to select the columns that what columns you want to see, uh, in which uh, type of column, what information is according to your need, for that, you need to go to the uh, action button and select column button where from there you can see the attribute list of, uh, you know, reconciliation as you can see in this list. Once you uh, go to action, uh, this uh, select column will give you options of multiple reconciliation attributes given by the administrator at the time of uh, you know, creating the application or even you can add it after some time. So uh, through this, you can select any of the, uh, you know, uh, attribute from here and uh, shift it to the right side and click on it. So automatically this will appearing in the list or in the uh, screen with that particular column, what you want. So this, uh, this can be done by the preparer or the administrator or anyone. Here, uh, the another uh, first one is reconciliation. The second one is balance. So balance attribute can also be selected by the uh, preparer or uh, administrator so that uh, uh, that data can also, you know, uh, reflected that information is also reflected in that uh, with that column. Uh, customized group view uh, basically uh, provides you some of the attributes, possible attributes related to group views like list, uh, yes or no, true or false, or according to the user. There are option of none, average, count, or some as well. This is not uh, much uh, useful or renowned uh, for the organization purpose, uh, although it is uh, completely depends on the organization's practice. Working with a list view is basically providing you a screening view, means uh, how you are going uh, to see the record and with uh, what capabilities, like if I am clicking on the list, so there is a list of drill down, uh, multiple list, and uh, I should choose any list out of that and I can see the data according to it. Uh, there are three uh, lists, uh, as you can see, that profile list, reconciliation, and transaction. These are the uh, basically uh, data or the information, like profile information, reconciliation, and transaction information you can see through that list. List also uh, provide the features of, uh, you know, adding the column or deleting or reordering the column, filtering or limiting the records in a view, or as well as uh, listing that view or import or export that view. Uh, in the list view, uh, there are three options, like you can save the list, you can go to 
the profile button and save the list option create any list there and uh, uh, click on the ok button and it will automatically show you in the uh, list column publish one is uh, that uh, any any uh, you know user if want to publish it it is useful for the other user as well once you are creating it it is not on the publish mode but when you are going to click on the publish button it will automatically available to the other users and setting default view there you can also uh, uh, when you want to change it according to your need in the customized mode you can go for it otherwise the default view is always available uh, working with filters filters uh, are uh, one of the factors which are controlling the records in a proper view or in a proper report form it is applying on the profile reconciliation or the balances there it is basically uh, uh, something uh, which you can save also for the future purpose or you can utilize according to your need. Accessibility by the other user is also uh, made if uh, you go to the publish, otherwise it is limited to you. Uh, there uh, typically uh, there are multiple types of filters we are using uh, through which we can perform some fun features like equal to non equal to starts with these are basically the condition through which you are going to you know segregate the data so um, here you can also create uh, some new filters according to your need uh, some default feature filters are there available uh, maybe they are a uh, bit easy or uh, simple but you can uh, create some complex filter also as well according to your organization's need in a case where the filter is going to use here uh, in the reconciliation compliance module the functionality remains a consistent okay means uh, with the filter you can uh, also there are many locations where you can provide the filters as you can see these are the areas like multiple uh, uh, you know areas where you can utilize the filters like uh, managing the teams or currencies or users or list of filter multiple multiple uh, ways to utilize that filter now you can see one by one, uh, we'll have a look over how we can create the filter, how we can utilize that filter. To view existing saved filters, if you want to see the existing filter, you need to go to application and configuration. There at the left hand side, top down, uh, bottom down, you can see the filter one as you can see in uh, this particular picture. There. At the top, you can see the add button. Through this, you can add altogether a new uh, filter. You can add it. You can also copy the filter because it's not possible to uh, create one by one where uh, you need bulk filters in your application. So you can also copy and make changes accordingly. Uh, here, uh, the delete uh, option is also there. The publish one is there and the view. In the view, you can uh, see the filters uh, as per the columns available or the default one. While creating a new filter, you can see you need to go to the configuration and filter part. Here you can see the list of the filter, the name, its type, and whether it's public or not. Here the action button is also there. When clicking on the new filter, you can see, uh, you can provide the name and description of it, which type of filter it is. And you can also create the condition over here. Uh, suppose you want to add any of the condition here related to that filter. So you can give it from there. This is it for the today's video. Thank you.